and we are back. Uh, truly, since um, the uh, influence of Ruach Hakodesh in terms of the explaining of words in the world, um, there are many words out there that should not be spoken. Each language was set in a such a way that there are bad words and there are also neutral words. It's very important speaking of these because they do set in a spiritual sense a stage in a spirit where flows of instructions they come from. So these are very important. For instance, we understand from the uh, oracles and the Torah that witches, they were to be put to death there was no saving of witches any of them found in the land they would be put to death and it's very important because our language unfortunately uses guides of the evil realm and it is disguised in WHICH and comes from W-I-T-C-H and these words should not be spoken there is a holy set language that should be exercised in the camps only the Hebrew language is the clean language the language of the Creator and we ourselves as goys, we must be very cautious when we are learning the Holy Scriptures and the Torah making sure we understand that there is set of words that should not be spoken because those are related with the specific realms and these words they can bring destruction and disaster and those should be cautiously placed outside of the vocabulary and this is extremely important because speaking certain words can take the focus of the person away from the learning of the Torah let's ask ourselves What's the condition of the existing world? The situation out there is very bad. Nations are in disarray. They are in bad, bad shape. And they are expecting some answers. However, what these nations they can give from the instructions and these when the instructions of Moses becomes very alive what this present world can give in terms of the Torah nothing they don't understand the Torah they don't obey the Torah and they think the Torah is obsolete so this is the main reason why set apart people they are set apart people they don't mix with the world and there is absolutely nothing that the world can give them the only hope for the stabilization of the world is for our dear Hebrew brothers to return to their camps and from there they would guide the world this is the only hope there is no other way and from this time that we are living in is going to get worst and worst and worst and worst there is absolutely no returning of the days of old of prosperity those days are gone because the world is being set in a 
stage that is preparing for the vengeance. And it's very much understandable from the times of Daniel when the 70 years were expiring, he felt in his spirit. He felt that it was a time of change, a time of a transition. And this is the time that we are living in. The world is upside down, so to speak. And it's going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. And what this world can give from the Torah. They are only bringing bad report of the Torah. So why are you wasting the time with the people of the world? They should return, the Hebrew brothers, they should return to their camps and do what Yahshua said. Whatsoever Moses said for you to do, these do and observe. There was a reason for it. Because the world is not going to improve. It's only going to get worse. And the world is very educated in trying to bring down the Hebrew line of our brothers. They are trying to make sure they don't return to their camps because they want to make them in this uh, line of imbalance. They try to get a bit of the world, a bit of Yahweh, and a bit of the world, a bit of Yahweh, and neither works. And the truth of it is, only those that are from the mainstream that are obeying Moses and what Yahshua said, those then are the only hope for this system of the world to be somewhat stabilized and then saving the people from the world. And this is very serious because the world is not going to be improved. The tendency is to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. It's a normal factor. There is no shalom and there is no understanding out there. The world is condemned. This is the main understanding. Condemned is done away with. There is nothing that can be done for this system. What they are expecting are instructions. And most of the world, they don't understand the Torah. And they reject the Torah. So why are they deserving any more from the Creator? If they don't believe His own words. The best is truly returning to the camps and being protected in the camps. And then the world let them go to heck if they want to go to heck. Because they are condemned. Condemned and judged means being in heck. Those are synonymous. It's not a desire for them to be destroyed. Is what they themselves are doing by rejecting the Torah. If they want the, the rejection of the Torah, then be destroyed. But let not the set apart people going along with them. Because the set apart people are holy from the start. And they should be protected. They don't want to be destroyed with the world, do they? No, they want to be protected in their own perimeters. And let the world then continue in its path of destruction because they are condemned. It's past tense. Condemned. And we understand that there are many Hebrew brothers They are very wealthy. They have lots of land. So there is not a moment of wasting for sure. Not wasting of time. They should set up their perimeters. Should, uh, should set up the tents. And then the tabernacle. And then be ready. And then the Levites. And then the Sanhedrin should be put in place as per Moses' teachings. And understanding the history and having the Torah in hand. And the absolutely true Torah. And there are copies of the Torahs. There are 99.99% 
percent true and then obviously the rest that are not can be easily compared with the character of the creator then it gets done and perfect and then put together and they should live in the camps and let the world be condemned they rejected the Torah so be it the set apart let them be set apart because then the world can understand that there is a place where Elohim lives it's not a mystical person over there living in the space no he's living in the earth let the world be done away with as they wish because they don't believe the Torah anyway let them go to heck because they are condemned this is what Shaul said don't be concerned with the world but be obedient speaking of the Goys make sure they are obedient to the kingdom to come government first because the rest they are condemned it's extremely important because the world is not going to improve and obviously the set apart people how many of our Hebrew brothers they gave their lives in the service there were thousands thousands and thousands should not our Hebrew brothers be concerned with the lives given away during the time they should be in quote honored in this aspect and then return to their camps so then the world would have guidance from the camps in prophecies in healings in wisdom in words of knowledge and then interpretation of tongues in tongues and the functions then the world has a reference point the world is absolutely condemned done away with and judged but the Holy Torah is forever the world wants to condemn the Torah so then they are condemned much more coming up please stay tuned